Hello and welcome to another Performance Architects How-To. Performance Architects is a business and technology consulting company that helps companies initiate and sustain big changes in their performance management and business intelligence environments and process. This video along with others on our channel should help provide some additional insight as you embark on or continue along your EPM and BI journey. Head over to our channel after this video or come back in the future to learn best practices, hear overviews, and take part in lessons we have designed to help you. We are focused on continuing to develop this community and we welcome any recommendations you might have for future content. Thanks and enjoy. Hi, this is John from Performance Architects. I'll be talking today about the Aggregate Persistence Wizard in Oracle Business Intelligence Enterprise Edition. The Aggregate Persistence Wizard was first introduced in version 10.1.3.2 and has existed in subsequent versions up until the most recent version which is OBIE 11G, the version number being 11.1.1.5 at this time. The Aggregate Persistence Wizard allows you to create aggregate structures quickly and create definitions in the metadata repository and in the underlying database. There are a few prerequisites to using the Aggregate Persistence Wizard. You'll need a connection pool that uses a user account that has the ability to create tables, drop tables, and that same user account should also have the ability to create indexes, which you'll need to do at a later time manually. You will need an intermediate knowledge of OBIE metadata repository. You'll need a SQL development tool such as Toad and a very solid understanding of the underlying database system. And you'll also have to have a familiarity with DOS. In OBIE, when you run a report against a detail table, there are two areas where we experience performance issues. The first is if you're running, let's say, a report of revenue by year, you're pulling detailed rows out of the Oracle database or whatever database management system you may be using. Secondly, the OBIE server is rolling up that revenue data, let's say summing by year, and then creating the report. This puts contention on the OBIE server. By creating an aggregate fact table, what you're really doing is you're creating a new table that has this revenue data already summed by year. You'll still have this data joined to the time dimension table, but when you run the revenue by year report, it'll run very quickly as OBIE does not need to roll up the aggregates. It's already done. Also, there's no contention or minimal contention on the underlying database system because it also is not feeding detailed row level records to OBIEE, thus reducing the overall number of rows and the processing in OBIEE overall. That's the goal of the aggregate persistence wizard. There are two main aspects. First, as I'd mentioned, the structures that are defined in the OBIE repository that are created by the wizard and the structures in the underlying database created by the wizard as well. When you run the aggregate persistence wizard, it will create a script. That script is then run separately from a DOS command line, which will create all the structures necessary in the database and in the OBIE RPD. When you run subsequent reports, these structures will be leveraged instead of the detail tables and detail structures in the OBIE repository. Now for a demonstration. This is the OBIE administration tool. I'm using OBIE 11.1.1.5 for this demonstration. I'm also using the sample app RPD. I'm logging in as the administrator. The aggregate persistence wizard is located under tools, utilities, aggregate persistence, 
then select execute. The goal of this wizard is to create a script. Give the script a name. For instance, test. Now select a location. Let's choose the C drive. Next, let's choose a business model. We'll choose sample app. And we'll also choose the revenue base measures and revenue as our fact. Now choose one or more dimensions. In this case, we'll use time and we'll select year as our hierarchy. And please be sure to use surrogate key for performance reasons. Next, select the database in the in the database layer in the physical layer of the, of the repository. In this case we'll use the sample app uh, database. The following two sections are not mod modifiable. Uh, the last section here is where you can actually change the aggregate table name. Now select next. This is the actual script that will be run from the DOS command line. At this point you can define other aggregates or say that you're done. Next. Now click finish. What we've just done is generated a script that is now residing on our C drive. We'll run the script from a DOS command line which we run directly against the Oracle Business Intelligence server. This in turn will create all the structures necessary in the database and in the metadata layer. I'll be covering all of the following things in the next segment on aggregate persistence. Please look for it on this YouTube channel for Performance Architects. I'll also in that segment be covering all of the aspects of testing your aggregate persistence to make sure it's been created correctly. Now for some final thoughts. Overall this is a good functionality for rapid pro prototyping for initial development. It's really not a closed loop function in that it didn't create indexes, it won't do partitioning. It's really just a system that allows you to quickly model aggregates and in some cases depending on the volume of data allows you to use that even in a production scenario. Keep in mind that this is creating a table with aggregates in it and that this will need to be dropped and recreated as data changes. So ideally you'll either need to create a job in OBIE to continually creating this table or better yet you'll be creating a job in Informatica or some other similar tool to populate this table. So the bottom line is that it's a great tool, gets you off the ground quickly get your structures in place, saves you time in creating metadata, um, and uh, is a little known, a little used tool in OBIEE. Thank you for attending today's YouTube on aggregate persistence. Thank you.